the point, Miss Green. Your Honor, Carla Lowenstein was battered almost to death by Mr. Redding's client. To try them together would be a terrible injustice. Since we're not in open court, could we dispense with the feminist rhetoric and talk bottom line? I mean, since I do agree with you on one point, Dr. Lowenstein is innocent of murder since he did not strike Deirdre. Therefore, I would like a severance. Mr. Stone. There has been a total disregard for the life of an innocent child, of two innocent children. I'd like to ensure that history doesn't repeat itself in the Lowenstein household. One of those two people struck a six-year-old child with enough force to stop her brain from functioning. Neither one has been forthcoming, and both of them know which one did it. I think the truth will only come out if one turns on the other. In the case of People versus Jacob Lowenstein, indictment number 6695, the charges brought are murder in the second degree, assault in the first degree, endangering the welfare of a minor. In the case of People versus Carla Lowenstein, indictment number 6695A, the charges brought are murder in the second degree, assault in the first degree, endangering the welfare of a minor. Is the defense ready? Ready, Your Honor. Ready, Your Honor. Are the people ready? Ready, Your Honor. Honey? Honey? Mrs. Lowenstein. Honey? Counsel is asked to advise your client to exhibit some restraint. She was always yanking her, slapping her. She was always mad at Dee Dee. Yanking? and slapping and pulling her hair. This convinced you that Dee Dee was being abused, Miss Perez? <laughs> no, no, that's only what I saw her mother do to her. But Dee Dee was always coming in with much more serious injuries. Objection, Miss Perez is not a physician. Uh, rephrase, Miss Perez, did you ever see any signs of physical abuse on Dee Dee Lowenstein? Yes. Did you describe them? Large purple bruises on her legs, and they continued under her underpants. A, a black eye, scalded hands. Did Dee Dee say how she had received these injuries? She said, Mommy said, I was naughty for not finishing my dinner. No further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> no questions, Your Honor. You may step down, Miss Perez. She did it, Adam. That's not my problem. One way or another, that woman had her daughter. Then what is your problem? Perez's testimony destroyed her. If Green is asking for a meeting, she's willing to make a deal. The whole thing is unfathomable. I feel like I'm floating face down with a mile of black water between me and any reasonable explanation for this. Why does it have to be reasonable? Well, there's something else going on here. It's not her. It's him. There's something depraved. All right. Now, what bothers you the most about this? Well, um... My own rage. What do your guts tell you? Put them both in a dungeon, put them on the wheel, and annihilate them. Can you get to him through her? I think so. All right, then do it. If you think that he is the greater evil, you go for him where he's most vulnerable, and you make the deal. It's your meeting. Miss Perez was a powerful, if biased, witness. I think the jury thought so. Let's clear down. On what basis? The basis of her being willing to accept limited culpability with mitigating... I did it. I killed Dee Dee. I 
I hit her. Why? I can't remember. She was out of her mind on cocaine, which he gave to her. He abused her, he abused the children. He encouraged her to beat the little girl. Mrs. Lowenstein, why would he want you to do such a thing? He wanted me to train her. I'm sorry? To train her. For later. So we could both serve him. Will you testify to that in the stand? Mrs. Lowenstein, intoxication is no defense for depraved indifference homicide. However, since we feel that she was coerced, and that she was physically threatened, will accept a plea on man one. And Dr. Lowenstein? Him? I'll get him for murder. <laughs> 